First thing we want to highlight today, it's BMW's first efforts when it comes to hydrogen, because that goes back as far as 1970s, and it started with this E12 BMW 5 Series. But before we dive into the details of this car, clearly BMW is focused on hydrogen quite a bit lately. They've been pushing cars since then quite a bit, especially with the latest BMW iX5 hydrogen. I just had a chance to drive the car last week, and then a few times before that, and clearly they're moving towards this new hydrogen future. Production series cars by 2030, so even though these are one-offs, we might see an actual car on the road by 2030. But with that being said, how about you tell me a few details on this car? Yeah, so this is a first-generation 5 Series, which is the E12 Series car. This particular version is a Series 1, so it's a 1975. It's Verona Red, and they've implemented the hydrogen on this. Let's take a look yeah, at let's the hood. pop the hood a little bit and see what's hiding underneath here. So tell me what we have here. Yeah, so this is the standard four-cylinder for the 520s of the era, and it's been implemented with the hydrogen up here, which is what all of these different mechanical bits are underneath the hood. And then in the trunk on these cars is where they stored the hydrogen, which I believe is stored to negative 250 degrees Celsius. Yeah, which is roughly almost minus 500 Fahrenheit, of course, in order to keep the hydrogen cooled. I mean, we can take a look at that, actually. Just go right into it. You can see, I mean, 1979 implementation, clearly completely different than what we see today. You can see this solid, I'm assuming steel, whatever they use to cool the hydrogen. And of course, you can see all this equipment, which is interesting nonetheless. Of course, this produces energy, clean energy, and it propels the car. From what I remember, 30% less, less horsepower. Less than horsepower a, than a standard 520, and then I think um, they told us it's about a 300 kilometer range. Yeah, which is quite impressive for a car, you know, 1979. And I think the neatest thing about the car is that it shows that since the 70s, BMW has been thinking about the alternative fuels, whether it's hydrogen or electric. They already had that on their mind, so they've been working on this for quite a long time. But let's see what they've done inside and if it looks any different than the regular 5 Series. This has the black velour interior, pretty standard interior for the E12. This is the really large steering wheel, which was the period steering wheel for these cars. And this is a Series 1 interior, which has the metal outlining around the wood trim, which is one of the telltale signs of a Series 1 car. What you'll also notice is some of the measuring instruments, some of the neat gauges and everything they've installed to be able to measure the hydrogen and be able to detect what's going on with the system. And it definitely looks like it's from the late 70s. Okay, Sean, so a lot of interesting things about the car. Clearly, it's exciting to see the car in real life, especially because it's the first BMW hydrogen car. But tell me more about the first 5 Series. Yeah, so for me, I've always been interested in E12s, and I have a 1980 528, which is an actual Series 2 E12. But I think it's really neat to see the first hydrogen car, test car, be the first 5 Series. Yeah, I mean, I actually wonder what's the story behind it, why they decide to do this one, probably because of packaging and all of that, but nonetheless. I think the size, and I think because it's the four-cylinder packaged in the 5 Series, they had a lot of engine room because it's the smaller engine, because these also come with big sixes. Just really neat to see the car. 